What's up guys, Triple C here. Before we jump into today's races, I want to quickly clear something up because as you guys know, on Tuesday I uploaded a video um, about the classic Torero that was released and I had a, a feeling that this might happen, but a lot of people didn't really get that it was a joke. You know, the whole video was not to be taken very seriously. Like obviously you don't do a test with a car just driving it over the runway once. We have completely broken cars and the test we did the car with was actually not even the Torero. It was just a random NPC car we got off the street, the red car in the end. So it wasn't even the Torero. So just want to clear that up um, because also some people have actually been getting quite some mails from people like most people got it you know like people that know me know this is sarcasm like very obviously but maybe to some people that don't know me they might take it serious a video like that you know and i got a lot of messages from people saying that i shouldn't be dissing brophy because he has good methods of testing and i totally agree that brophy has very accurate uh, methods of testing and that's why the whole thing i was saying it was complete sarcasm if i was taking a um if i was taking a hit on somebody it's actually those guys that really do these types of videos because there are a lot on youtube a new car comes out what are the, all the youtubers do they go up to the airport and do a fucking drag race with the car and then they say yep it's a good car or, yeah it's a bad car you know they have no idea what they should even be looking out for how to test the car properly what to even test it for you know like all they do is just drive the damn car down the runway and after that they draw a conclusion from that which is like completely random and also as i said you got to know what you're looking for like me for example i always do the stunt tests and always test them on a certain set of criteria under the same conditions when brophy does his lab testing he tries to also reduce um, the amount of random or standard deviations that could come in this and try to do everything exactly under the same conditions, have the same set of criteria to look out for basically. Or the top speed test what he does, he actually really calculates the frames of the cars you know, like, uh, also like a big difference to what Brafi does with his top speed testing for example, and all the other YouTubers don't. Um, nobody takes into consideration like what initial acceleration a car has or initial traction a car has you know because there's a huge difference like a car like the banshee for example the wheels would just spin out in the beginning and it, it's very sluggish to even get going and but once it's up there at top speed it is much quicker than the other cars so just driving down the runway you'll not get a representative result and that's why somebody like brafi who starts his test at top speed and then calculates or like um, adds up how many frames per second there was until the finish line he can really accurately calculate the top speed and has like the conditions set up in a way that he will get a representative result and so yeah to anybody who didn't get that um, I obviously I was not dissing Brafi I really um, I really appreciate what he does and he's one of the best people out there providing like quality content on the new vehicles as opposed to a lot of the clickbait guys who just don't even know anything about racing at all or just do random shit with the cars and then they're gonna say yeah it's a good car yeah it's not a good car um there's a f there's not a lot of people that have that in-depth knowledge that you would need to really accurately test the cars and like i said if you didn't get it um also no hard feelings you know so a lot of you people might not know me and might not know that i'm sarcastic like that often you know but um definitely no diss to brafi and also no diss to the other guys that just do that shit with the runway you know like obviously some people have a more in-depth knowledge of this game and the mechanics of the game and some people don't and that's okay you know like you don't have to be a fucking expert or pro or like know every little detail about this game but like what i do think is is reprehensible if people that have actually no clue what they're even testing or what they're talking about if they're then giving out recommendations you know just do a video about the car in general or whatever you know but don't recommend stuff on on, on a set of criteria that you haven't even set yet or that you can't judge or can't nearly judge you know but yeah so anyways um just want to get that off my chest I still hope some of you guys got a laugh out of the video. As I said, it was not to be taken seriously. And without further ado, we'll jump into today's races. Hope you guys enjoy it and I'm out. Peace. Alright, what's up guys? Triple C here. We're playing Craig Longman's new race. It's called Lethal Twizzle. 
look very twizzling on the pick, so we're gonna see how lethal this really is. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's the only reason we're playing it, because we want to see how lethal it really is. It's basically a scientific experiment. Shit, man, it's intense right here. <laughs> I don't believe you. Right, here we go. Oh shit, oh shit. Perfect. Oh man, I didn't even hit any of the dummy proofs. So nice, man. It lined me up so perfect, I didn't even touch all the dummy proofs, man. Nice. Really good. Absolutely clean. It's going up the left turn, I think. Like that. Go again, let's go. Again didn't even hit the dummy proof. Again didn't hit the dummy proof, so nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's <coughs> easy. So yeah man, high quality stuff here from Craig Longman like always. Uh, lethal Twizzle, the link is down there in the description. Go check it out and I'm out. Peace. Alright, what's up, guys? Triple C here. It's, uh, we're playing Wall Sportif by 40 Shreds. And I believe this is his first race. I just found this race here on Social Club. And um, he's a really good wall rider, also. <clears throat> this one's for sports cars. Looked very short on the. Um, the track looked very short on Social Club. So I'm rather going for something at top speed here. And, <clears throat> and it said you need full speed to have the first jump. So no allergy. Which people normally drive in the sports car races. It's got a best here. Best here. Where, 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 where? Okay. Ah, okay. It's nice with the morning setting there in the ocean. It's good. This is self turn. <laughs> oh, can I get it? Pull up, pull up, pull up. I can't pull up too much, then it's been out. It's smooth, man, smooth. Alright, easy, man, like, nice. I love the barge roll also, but it's kind of not all the way even. But don't go over the checkpoint. I went over the checkpoint. Shit. I overshot the checkpoint. Fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah, Masakra does get some speed in, so... But then, it, ah, you know what, with driving all this kind of stunt garbage... Sorry, no offense to anybody, but I just said that kind of sense. I don't put my nose down anymore when I jump to reduce airtime. You should do that, because in counting kind of stunt, it doesn't make a difference. Whether you put your nose down or up, it's all the same shit in counting kind of stunts. 
Old physics, you actually reduce the airtime. Probably would have gotten the checkpoint putting my nose down. And before counting stunts, we all did that always. Exiting the stunts, everybody nose down. But we don't even do it anymore. Or let me know in the comments. Do you guys still put your nose down exiting the stunt? Sometimes I see people do it also in counting stunt races, even though it's no point in even doing it there. Alright, let's go. Okay, we're gonna try it out nose down this time. Yeah, look how it's pushing me down, man. At the same speed. That's something you should do anyways, putting your nose down. To reduce your airtime. Yeah, man, nice, man. High speed shit here in Polito Bay. Really smooth stunt, nice atmosphere. All perfect here. Nice one. Uh, link is down there in the description. Go check it out, guys. And all. Peace.